Hi. In this video, we'll learn how to dynamically hide or show fields based on the selection in the decision box on the form. You might have come across various instances like banking apps, medical record systems, and personal finance tools where field values are initially masked and only become visible after you choose to view the sensitive information. This is to guarantee privacy and prevent the exposure of sensitive data at the first glance. We'll show how to accomplish this use case in the Creator app. This sample app will be used for the demonstration. Instead of just masking the values, we'll hide sensitive information along with the fields by default. Field values will only be revealed when the user chooses to view them. Let's proceed with the configuration to achieve this requirement. The screen you see now is the transaction form, where the user will enter the transaction details. Here, the commission earned and internal transaction notes fields contain sensitive information. This is the All Transactions report, which displays transaction details. We will include a button here that, when clicked, will display the record data in a pop-up, where the sensitive fields are hidden by default and revealed only when the user chooses to view the sensitive information. To achieve this, we will set up a decision box that reveals sensitive information when checked. Follow these simple steps to meet this requirement. To begin, let's hide the sensitive fields from the All Transactions report. To do that, access the editor, click on Configure Fields for Web, and delete the sensitive fields. These fields will now be hidden from the All Transactions report by default. Next, let's create a stateless form based on the transaction form. We do this to open the form as a pop-up when the custom button is clicked. Open the form builder, click on the three dots located at the top right corner and select duplicate form. Provide a form name, leave the checkbox unchecked as we are creating a stateless form. Select all the fields and click on duplicate. Now, we have all the fields identical to those in the original form. Next, let's add a decision box to the transaction form. Drag and drop the decision box field from the advanced field section and give a name to the field. We'll be using this decision box to hide or show these fields on the form. Let's remove the submit and reset buttons as they are not relevant for the user in a pop-up. This allows the user to simply close the pop-up after viewing it. Click done. Next, we need to add a button on the all transactions report, which when clicked, should open the stateless form as a pop-up with the record data. To do that, select the All Transactions report. Under Quick View, select the Actions tab. Clicking on the plus icon for a single record lets you add a custom button to each record in the report. Give a name to the button and choose to display the action item to Always as we want the button to be displayed for all the records in the report. Choose when to execute the workflow. Give a name to the workflow and proceed to create. Click on Add New Action and choose Deluge Script. Select the Create Your Own option to proceed to define the script. The logic is to open the stateless form in a pop-up window with the record details when the button is clicked. To accomplish this, we can utilize the Open URL task. Type hashtag form. Transaction temp. Question mark. Transaction ID equals within quotes plus input dot transaction ID plus ampersand date of sale within quotes plus input dot date of sale. Here, we open the transaction form and pass the custom button's record details to the respective fields on the pop-up form. We have now passed the values for two fields. Let's pass the values to the remaining fields using the same method. Lastly, specify the window type as pop-up and set the required height and width. Click Done. Next, we need to create a workflow to toggle the visibility of fields according to the selection in the decision box, ensuring the box remains unchecked by default. To do that, from the editor, access the workflow section and proceed to create a workflow. The workflow should be triggered on the field rules. Give it a name and proceed to create the workflow. Click on Add New Action and choose to run the workflow on a condition. If decision box equals true, 
Show the field's commission earned and internal transaction notes. Click Done. Let's see how our configuration works in real time. As we see, clicking on the Custom button displays the record details in a pop-up, along with the decision box disabled, which hides the sensitive fields. And checking the decision box reveals the field. The requirement is met. Similarly, you can implement this approach in other forms and reports within the system to manage the visibility of sensitive information. This ensures that sensitive information is not exposed at first glance, thereby upholding data privacy and security. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.